step three, it says put the listline.gif under each list. I can see the lists here and I can see the list line too. So let's look at how to do that. I guess we'll go to the index file and begin by creating an li tag as a selector, curly brackets, and we're going to add the image, background, image, uh, URL, and assets. Images, it's listline.gif. There it is. So this is a background image for each list. Let's see what that looks like. Save. Oh my goodness. Well, we certainly know we don't want it to repeat. So I'll use my shortcut, skip a sp space, and type no repeat. Save, and there it's not repeating, but also I don't see it. Where did it, oh, oh. So you can see, let me stretch this out so you can see my code well. I've given a background shortcut. Can you see what I did wrong? Remember what I talked about? The background shortcut is just the word background. You don't use image, even though you're doing lots of things to that image. So let me take that off and save. And there it is. But now here's something else that went wrong. It's on each list item on each li, and I just want it at the bottom of the last one. So what I need to do is change it to my uh, ul tag. Save. And there it is, but it needs to get positioned. Now remember what we looked at, um, background shortcut properties. You do first the color, which we're not doing. We did the image, we did the repeat. We're not going to use attachment, but now we have position to think about. And the position is center, space, bottom, save. Let's see how that looks. There it is. It's in the right spot, but now it's also touching the words. So we might need some padding. Let's do some padding. Padding bottom. And I just want to look at this image to see how much padding I need. It's called the list line. Down here we'll see what size it is. It's 10 pixels tall. It always gives you width first and then height. So since it's 10 pixels tall, I'll give it 20 pixels of padding. Just to make sure there's enough. Save. And that looks great. Oh, let's do step four. Remove the bullets from the list, since we're on the lists anyway. Now you might wonder how to remove the bullets, but look, you can just go to W3Schools and look it up. I'm going to go to the search bar, and I'm going to type list styles. Um, styling lists. Okay, so you already know these kinds of lists. If you don't, you can take a look at them. UL and OL. Circle, square, upper Roman, lower alpha. Those are great to know about, but that's not what we're looking for. Soon we'll learn how to replace a list, a bullet with an image, a tiny image. That'll be fun. We're not going to change the position, position at all. Oh, here it is. List style type none. We don't want any bullets. I'm just copying that. And this is on the UL. There, save. And the bullets are gone. So next video, we will do step five and six.